right guys welcome back to the channel Yorkshire Crafter and happy new year everyone uh, let's hope for a better 2022 so today's video is going to be a bit of a big uh, catch up I'm going to share some purchases um, because I got gifted some uh, Christmas money so I'll show you what I bought with that. I'm also going to show you my uh, stitching. Some I've already started, excuse me, and some that need starting, but I'm going to be working over all the uh, stitching projects. So, yeah, for 2022. So, some themed ones and some that go along with events and you know year-long stitching things and so I'm going to start with my purchases first so I wanted to show you guys this little one that we picked up in the sale so just a bit of a warning this does have um, some lights uh, the cheeks light up but it also talks, so I'm just going to press it now. Just a bit of a warning. Did you guys hear that? Let me put it to the speaker. <laughs> he is so cute. We found this in a sale in our local uh, Wilco store. It was on, I think, for... 50 pence or something it was just a a box of uh decorations that they hadn't sold so they had some on for 50 pence and i thought that was really cute so that's going to go on my tree next year so that was something that we found then i purchased a diamond painting from amazon and i'm just looking to see if it shows a picture and it doesn't so I'm gonna to have to take at least the canvas out so, I've never seen a diamond painting pack like this before normally the drills are inside the painting but this one has come packed separately and there's the tool kit so this is the painting that I gifted myself. It's a polar bear and five penguins. So yeah, I couldn't resist. That was just too cute. So this might be one of the projects that I work on um, in the bear cave when we do the uh, crafting chat. So yeah, this is a nice little one to take into there to work on while I'm doing the show and then it could just be easily brought back into here and stored away so yeah I thought that was really cute so that was the one of the things and like I say I've never seen a diamond painting packed like this before yeah it come packed like this so the diamond painting on one side and then the diamonds on the other because it's uh, sealed down the middle here and like i said i got this from amazon so that was that then i got myself some more magnets um to make the needle minders and the cover minders so i've got more magnets and I think, I can't remember, is it a pack of 20? No. 10. Pack of 10, I think. Yeah, pack of 10 or 20. But yeah, I've got some more magnets. And then I got some colouring books. So this is a Jade Summer. And I'm happy to say that Jade Summer has sorted out um, to be able to sell 
back on uh, Amazon. She actually, uh, they actually put a post up saying her legal team and their legal team, and they've worked something out. It was something to do with the wording or the print on the back of the book was very similar to another person's, and so yeah, they've had to sort out the wording and. That's, I believe, where the hiccup was. So all that is sorted out now. So Jade Summer is back on Amazon. And I got this one, Easy Colouring Book. And as you can see on the front there, it's a vase of flowers. And then on the back, it just shows another couple of images. Large print designs for adults and seniors with 50 simple images of animals, flowers, food, objects and more. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy colouring in that. And then I, it, it's gnomes, I had to, yeah, this is a Christmas gnome colouring book and... It doesn't actually say who the artist is, does it say? There's no, um, no, there's no artist name. Oh, it says at the bottom there. Scan QR and find more. So, yeah. And then on the back, there's a couple of images there showing you what's inside the book. And that little guy there is cute. And then got the gnome and the Christmas tree. And then a snowman and a gnome. And then on this side, there's like a wintry scene. And it's a big wreath on a Christmas tree with some presents underneath so those were the purchases that I got with my Christmas money that I got gifted so that is those so let's put this on the bed behind me yep so then I want to get on to stitching so I have a couple of finishes. One of them you have already seen. So we'll start with that first. So this is last year's Peppermint Purple. So yeah, Peppermint Purple 20, 2020. Yeah. <laughs> Peppermint Purple 2020, so that's all finished. Uh, you guys have seen that before. Then I have another finish. And this is Peppermint Purple 2021. So it's this way up. And that is all finished. And if you guys remember last christmas i got give i got gifted the color pack for christmas to do this so it's all in the called for colors so yeah that one is finished so peppermint purple 2021 there is a peppermint purple for this year um I believe if you go over to the group, you will find the layouts. They've done two free layouts, but then if you want to get additional ideas and additional layouts, there is a um, add-on or additional pack um, that obviously you uh, pay for. But um, yeah, again, they are doing another Peppermint Purple for this year. And I believe the two free ones, the first layout is the same as this year. So it's the square, the square of squares. But then I think the second one is more of an oval. It's more 
um, condensed. It's a, a oval um, of squares. Um, but yeah, if, if I was going to do it, I'd have probably gone for layout two. But like I said, there is other other layouts available, um, but that's the uh, add-on path. Um, also, just to say that I was watching a new floss tuber. Um, she's not new to YouTube, but um, I think it was yesterday or the day before she posted her first floss tube. So it's Robin Loves Books. So go check her out on YouTube. And she has just done her first floss tube. And she was talking about some of her projects and also some places that she got her patterns and ideas and things and free freebies. And, and one of those places was Leslie Teary. So Leslie Teary has a blog with lots of um, patterns, different patterns of different things, flowers. Um, she also has uh, black work, um, so flowers and then inside like the flowers and the petals and things, it's all stitched in like black work and there is some gorgeous things on her blog. I did see a pink themed one. It was flowers and hearts and different shades of pink. That really did catch my eye. So I'm going to have to have a proper look. Because I just had a quick look last night after I watched Robin's video. Um, but yeah, I need to have a proper look today on the computer. And it's Leslie Teary and it's on her blog. So, yeah. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I shall get on to my other stitching and things I have planned for the year. So, a big bag of projects. Some of these projects come from last year so i'm going to carry on this year with some of my projects so for example the gnomes um, that i was stitching from verbico and lenada and then there's my christmas uh, i keep saying that my birthday stitch my winnie the pooh one and i'll show you that now this one Yes, this one. But I have, not showing the pattern, I have extra motivation to get on with this pattern because in the last week or so, I found out that Crystal is going to be doing the Disney uh the disney collab uh let me just yeah so this is the one so winnie piglet eeyore and tigger so yeah like i said i have got extra motivation and if you would like to join crystal it's crystal's craft creations let me just double check that yeah. I believe that's what the group is called. Let me just check. My Creations by Crystal. So that's the name of the group. So My Creations by Crystal over on facebook if you want to go and join her and she has actually put a post i have decided to do the year-long disney let me try that again i have decided to do the year-long disney event can be a whip any craft accepted and it's hashtag disney collab 
2022. So, like I said, if you want to go and join her, you know, go and join the group. And like I said, that is going to give me extra motivation to work on this and get this finished. So, I have done a little bit more, not much. I've worked a bit more on Winnie the Pooh's neck and going into his head. And then this is his, his arm coming down here. So I want to finish Winnie the Pooh and then I can move down or maybe even move across this side because there's a balloon. Piglet is holding a balloon. So like I said, that's going to give me extra motivation to work on that. And I'll be able to post in the group my progress and how I am doing on that. So thank you, Crystal, for launching the Disney collab again. Then I have got the Christmas mount. I am so close to a finish on this. I've just decided to carry on with it. Um, unfortunately, I have run out of the blue for the background. I've got a little bit down there left to finish, but I'm sure I have got that colour in my stash. Uh, Three eight four zero, yeah, I'm sure I've got that in my uh, in my stash. But yeah, I've just got that little bit of the blue there, and then I have got the mouse to finish, and then these gifts underneath. Let me get the cover for cover out, and I can show you guys. But yeah, I've just got. A little bit of blue down here and then I've got all the bottom here these uh, gifts and then a little bit of the snow at the bottom to finish so really not very much so. but yeah so like I said not very much to do so I've decided to just carry on with it, have it as one of my projects for this year. So that, that one. Then I have the Disney cross stitch. I think I was starting on the next character. Yes, I was. I'm up the top here. So again, this is going to be another one that I will be able to post in Crystal's group. So yeah, I've started the next character, which is... It's Huey, Dewey and Louie. So it's that one there so the three brothers the cousins of Donald Duck so yeah Huey, Dewey and Louie <clears throat> so I've just got this top to finish here and then the stars like I did on the other sampler and then that will be the second one finished um, I probably won't be carrying on with the Disney cross stitch. Um, I did get the um, next piece of fabric for the third sampler and the start of the first princess, but then the issues stopped coming. Um, I'm not sure why. Um, some of you will know that it was gifted to me. Um, but like I said, the last three, four months, nothing has come. Um, I, I just, I, I don't know why. Um, so yeah, once I finish this second 
sampler that will be it then i will just cross that as a uh, as a finish um so yeah so next um i think that is no i will actually show you the gnomes and where i got to so I don't think I've made any more progress since I shared with you guys. But yeah, I have gone back to step two. So I'm just doing up at the top here and finishing off some more of the background. Because I, I skipped ahead, didn't I, to do step three. Because I wanted to make sure that I had the gnome in the right place. So I'm going back to step two now so lots to do on this lots to catch up i think there's about nine or ten steps and yeah i'm <laughs> i'm just going back uh to those so <clears throat> so these next four these last four are new starts like i said i think there's two i've made a start on and there's the other two to make a start on which i will probably do maybe this evening um i might start one of them this evening and then i've got another one to then start tomorrow so first we have pull to pull um a lot of you uh, commented when I said about starting this that you know they thought it was really really cute so let me get this out and this is from cross stitcher and yeah it's called pull to pull and it's all the different arctic and antarctic animals uh, so we've got that's a reindeer, we've got sea lions, polar bears, penguins, we've got a fox, an arctic fox, more polar bears, we've got a wolf, you know, an arctic wolf, and I think that is a hare. I think I might have said it was a rabbit before, but it's a hare, you know, the arctic hare uh, up here an arctic hare and an owl and yeah some of the animals have got uh, their woolies on so they've got uh, scarves jumpers and in the middle there it says 2021 but i might change that and yeah put my uh, birthday in or maybe the year i was born you know I'm not sure but yeah that's a pull to pull so I will show you the little little start that I made spread out I can get this out and it's this way up and these are just some of the leaves um, because working from the chart I like to start from the center and you know sort of uh, count and then work my way out and uh, yeah as you guys have seen this is a round so I'm working in a cue snap yeah <laughs> but yeah that's my start on that a little start but it's a start to get this Back into here, hopefully. It doesn't want to go back in, so I'm going to have to sort that out after. Well, when I pause before we get into the uh, weapon chat. So, next, we have the Stitchonomy Stitch Along. And, whoops. Knock that over. 
So this is my start of the stitchonomy and it's going to be like a tree. So there's one straight branch up the middle and then these go off to the side. So there's one right along the bottom. There's a plant pot down here and there's a line up here, a line up here, a line up here and then a little line at the top and then as the branch goes up the middle there's a little bit that pokes up out of the top so I presume we're going to have a decoration or something at the top but uh, yeah that is my progress so like I said this is the bottom branch then this is the next branch up and then this is where the four first decorations go in in between these two so yeah we've had uh, four drops on that so far um i actually counted it out i uh, looked on the email on the computer and counted you know how many were straight up the middle and then how many going outwards for each of the branches going up so that was the other start that i had so the next two so those two were christmas themed then this next one is halloween themed so you guys probably saw me do an unboxing on this um with my stitching this year i kind of wanted to do a year in christmas and a year in halloween um for the different um facebook groups i'm in um the first two are going to go in the christmas cross stitch facebook group um so they do like a year in christmas so each christmas project or something that you start that's christmas themed you can post pictures and your progress and things like that in that group and then also another group halloween cross stitch challenge so i should have already posted my pictures and i forgot so this is the happy halloween and it's the gnomes so i haven't made a start on this yet and i really do need to it's a pre-printed canvas you can just see in there the canvas is already pre-printed it comes with all the threads comes with a needle um a threader comes with everything you need so i just need to find out a frame or hoop to stitch it on and then i'm all set to go that's my first halloween themed one and then last but not least is this one again from cross stitcher and it's called midnight magic and again i had a few of you message on the video saying yeah wow love it so i'm trying to find a big enough picture so that's just what's in the middle it's just a portion of what the pattern is but yeah you can just see at the bottom there midnight magic and it says everything is better with a little magic so that is another one that i need to start again halloween themed so yes i have my two christmas ones started i've got to start my next two halloween ones and then i've brought the other ones through with me so got the um what is it call my it called? I don't remember what this one's called now 
the name game is the um, Disney one. So the name game and then I've got the Disney cross stitch. So they're both um, Disney related. Um, I can go over and uh, support Crystal. Um, and then I've um, got the gnomes uh, again, which is Christmas. So I might be able to post that in the Christmas cross stitch group also. So, yeah, a bit of a Christmas, Halloween, Disney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that kind of year going on with uh, my stitching and all of that so um yeah i've mentioned the groups haven't i so they will be linked down below so the halloween cross stitch challenge the christmas cross stitch and then the stitch on me stitch along those will be uh linked down below in the description box so if you want to go over to the groups go and check it out and i will also put crystals group in there as well i remember to put that in the uh, description box so crystals group link yeah, remember to put that in the video in the description box as well. So, I've done that. I've done uh, what I spent my Christmas money on. So, what I need to do now, guys, is pause. I will get set up for the whip and chat. Um, we're already half an hour into the video so I'm yeah I'm gonna get set up for the whip and chat portion so I shall see you guys in a minute it'll just be a flash for you have we paused no we haven't paused Right guys, I am back. So I have decided to start the Happy Halloween, um, the stitching project. And this is on 11 count Ada and it's pre-printed as you can see. And I'm starting on this hat here in the middle and the number two is 310. So with it being pre-printed I don't have to worry about counting and things it just makes it a lot easier to do these printed ones when you know you're chatting away and yeah you don't have to think about it really so let's get this first strand in so we're going to start at the top of this hat here I don't know whether no you can't really see me it is yeah that one there so I can see and you can see so let's anchor this first red oops it nearly pulled it all the way out and then we'll get into this whip and chat and what I have been up to over the Christmas period. So the central heating has just kicked in and it's rather warm in the house. So there we go, started. Right, so. We're going to start on the 20th of December, so Monday the 20th. So we're going to go back a little bit, but um, 
as I explained to you guys, you know, I wanted a bit of a, a bit of the Christmas period off, and even though you guys saw some videos, some things that were pre-recorded and magazine flip-throughs that I had delivered and so I have done a little bit of recording but yeah pre-records so on that Monday I was doing some washing before my husband got up and then we had to go to the supermarket and do a little bit of shopping and some food to last um so yeah we went down to asda then we got back and i put it all away and then um i think there was about half an hour before lunch so um i sorted out uh, a little bit more washing, got some drying done, um, yeah, and then, then we had lunch, I had a chocolate spread sandwich for lunch, and then in the afternoon I was working on the gnomes, the stitch along, so I did a little bit of that in the afternoon while I was finishing off sorting, uh, drying and folding clothes and yeah, doing all that fun stuff. And then sorted out the pets, fed them, uh, walked Ted and then uh for tea it was a fish so i did some uh breaded uh fish bits and chips so i did that for tea and then when i came up here um i was watching youtube and there were some live streams on and I was diamond painting, so I was doing some more of the Coca-Cola truck. So yeah, I was doing that and then um, before I settled down to bed, I made sure I was keeping up with my notes because I knew it'd be a couple of weeks before I caught up with you guys on a Sunday catch up so yeah make sure I put my book my diary in a place that would remind me to keep up with writing notes and things like that for this Sunday catch up so um then on to Tuesday the 21st in the morning I was working on my birthday stitch the piglet and Winnie the Pooh and so I did a little bit of that uh, while sorting out the last bits of washing then for lunch, um, I'm not too sure what I had for lunch, probably a uh, chocolate spread sandwich. Then in the afternoon, uh, once we'd had dinner, me and the youngest were sat watching TV and um, we noticed that there was a film on. There was Romeo and Juliet and that was on channel 5. So me and him sat and watched that. 
Um, I think I don't think I did any stitching because now I was watching. I was watching that because I'd not watched it all the way through before. I'd uh, seen little bits and yeah, so is that much that? And then for tea, it was chicken Kievs. Um, so I think it was probably the garlic ones, the garlic butter. Um, they do do other ones. There's like ham and cheese ones. There's the garlic butter ones. So yeah, we had that for tea with chips. So I did that. And then in the evening, I was on a live stream with Crafty Chris. She was building her a disturbat, and I was there leaving out comments. And I really do enjoy uh, watching Christine build the Eddie. You know, as well as well as everybody else. But uh, yeah, while well, you're live with them and yeah watching her build it and yeah it's really really good fun i enjoy it and just being there to support her and read the chat out and yeah really enjoy your guys uh interaction and reading all of the ch all of the chat it is really good fun i enjoy it um, and then after the live stream, I think we were just sat having a chat and yeah, after that I just went to, went to bed. Uh, so then on to, turn the page over, on to Wednesday the 22nd so again in the morning I was working on the Winnie the Pooh uh, my birthday stitch I was working on that then for lunch I wasn't you know I wasn't feeling very hungry that day According to my notes, I wasn't feeling very hungry, so I just had a packet of crisps for my lunch. So I did that. Then in the afternoon, there was another film on. So me and our youngest sat and watched Shrek. Uh, Shrek 2 was on. So we sat and watched that and then for tea it was steak pie uh, with chips and gravy. So we had that for tea. Then in the evening I was watching YouTube and diamond painting. So more of the cola truck, the Coca Cola truck. Not to go in. So then on to the Thursday. So Thursday the twenty third. Um, I did a little bit more of the birthday stitch, and then we had to go to the supermarket. Uh, so we went back down to Asda and got some more bits and then by the time we got back from doing that it was well after lunchtime so I so said I didn't want to have something too much to eat or else I wouldn't be hungry at tea time so I had a packet of crisps from the lunch and then in the afternoon, I was doing some more washing. 
um, Wednesdays, baths and showers. So I was doing that. Then for tea, we had pizza. And then in the afternoon, well, when I came up here in the evening, I was working some more on the cola truck. And there was a live stream with Horlicks. So I sat and watched that while I did some uh, diamond painting. Um, and then after that, we had a bit of a chat. I was invited in. <laughs> Um, we actually did a um, chat. Yeah, I'm not going to say any more than that. Then it went on to Friday the 24th, which was Christmas Eve. So, Christmas Eve. We actually had my parents come over. Um, they wanted to come and see us. Uh, they also stopped for tea. Um, we also set up my phone. Um, I told you guys that my mum was gifting me her old phone as part of my Christmas gift um, but yeah I previously tried to switch it on you know it, it switched on and everything was fine but then it was asking for a code so yeah it asked for like a passcode so yeah I thought while she was there we would try and sort that out. So we did that, got it working, everything was fine. We got that all set up. And then for tea, my mum requested spaghetti carbonara. So yeah we had that for tea on christmas eve so christmas eve morning uh with it being a friday it was normal cleaning so i did the bathroom but uh, no i made the bed had a bath and then with the saturday being christmas day we decided to do the cleaning on the friday so once all baths and showers and everything like that was done, I give the bathroom a quick white round. Um, I also did the ironing, got that done out of the way. For lunch, I had chocolate spread. And then in the afternoon, I had to wrap my mum and dad's Christmas presents. So I did that for when they were coming. And like I said, for tea, it was spaghetti carbonara. Then in the evening, uh, normally on Christmas Eve, the four of us have a takeaway and watch a film. Well, with my parents come in, um, yeah, we just, um, when it came to the evening time, we did put a film on, but we were just having snacks and bits like that we didn't actually order a takeaway so we watched love actually and we had some bags of popcorn so we we're just passing the different bowls around we had sweet we had salted we had caramel um so yeah that's what we did that's what we did christmas eve then christmas day um in the morning it was just the usual you know pets washing up um at about 11 o'clock we 11 yeah about 11 o'clock we opened gifts 
Then after that we had some croissants, so we have like a late uh, breakfast because we usually have Christmas dinner maybe later on so we always make sure we have a bit of uh, breakfast on Christmas morning so we have uh, buttered croissants and then after we'd eaten that we got all the veggies and you know everything sorted and in the oven and cooking and things like that and then we just sort of chilled out, listened to Christmas music, had a look at, you know, a proper look at our gifts and, you know, sort of as you're, as you're opening things and so, yeah, we had a proper look at our gifts. My husband had a bit of a flip through of his books, his Titanic books, his Sea of Glass, uh, they call it the Titanic Bible and then there's the Haynes titanic manual um so yeah he was having a look at those and we we're just sort of chilling out we had christmas music on uh magic you know magic music channel and then we had a christmas dinner at about four o'clock so yeah by the time everything had cooked and yeah about four o'clock we had christmas dinner so for starter we had prawn cocktail then for main it was turkey and all the trimmings uh there was stuffing there was cranberry sauce there was roast potatoes there was yorkshire puddings you know all the trimmings there was sprouts yeah we had to have sprouts um yeah i always make sure i have one one <laughs> but yeah i always make sure i have one even though i don't really like them but yeah I always have one and then once you know everything had been cleared up and yeah we uh, skipped dessert we were, all, we were all a little bit uh, full and a little bit yeah not uncomfortable but full so at about half past five I came up here and I was crafting a little bit. Um, I did a little bit of diamond painting and I was sorting out my Christmas gifts um, because when I brought them up earlier I just put them all on the bed um, so I wanted to make sure they were all sorted and organized so the diamond painting things have gone in the diamond painting drawer any stitching or you know that kind of needle they were all in their drawer and then there were some other things that i didn't have a drawer for like the crochet set that i got given um so that's on the top of my drawers because like i said i don't actually have a drawer for uh yarn or anything like that so that's just sat on the top of my drawers i'm definitely going to have to uh, get into crochet and uh, give that a go because i want to do those little bees they're really cute so yeah um the boys were in and out bringing bringing drinks asking if i was hungry and yeah so it was a really really good day christmas day just chilled out just yeah it was really really good then on to boxing day the sunday 26th boxing day i got up uh pets washing up uh, there was a little bit of washing to fold and to sort then um, then we had lunch I had a turkey and cranberry sandwich and then I had my boxing day unboxing video to do so I do a video of what I had been gifted so i did that recording 
set it to edit and then I went back downstairs and I think I was doing a little bit of stitching maybe um, and then the tea we had some party bits so mini sausage rolls little sausages some stuffing balls uh, so we sat and had tea and then in the evening when I came up here I was working on Christmas mouse so I wanted to get some of that done then on to the 27th so Monday the 27th was pets washing up and then I was washing folding and drying clothes so i did that then for lunch again turkey and cranberry sandwich then in the afternoon the boys wanted to go and spend some of their christmas money um so we went to sports direct we called at asda to get a few bits uh milk and bread and you know things we'd run out of and then for tea it was party bits so sausage rolls we did some cheese straws some crisps and pringles and stuff like that and then in the evening i was working some more on the christmas mouse then Tuesday the 28th, uh, pets washing up and then if you can hear that, that's my husband going live currently, it's just before 6 o'clock, he goes live on a Sunday at 6 o'clock now, so if you can hear that I do apologise, but yeah, I wanted to get this recording done, we're having to do it a bit later on, but yeah, if you can hear that, that's my husband going live um then oh yes this was the tuesday when we struggled to top up the electric the company that we were that we were with the payment scheme the whatever um, app they use um had gone down there was no way to top up the electric couldn't do it online, couldn't do it on the uh, app, we couldn't do it on the shop because the machines had gone down and they classed the Tuesday the 28th as a bank holiday. So yeah, my husband kept trying and trying and trying to top up the electric and yeah, it just wasn't having none of it. And then he went on to the internet to see if there were any problems, you know, the uh, thing, app thing that you can go on. Um, yeah, quite a few people had had problems trying to top up. But he kept an eye on that and somebody did actually post a couple of hours later that it had all been fixed. So yeah, he went and tried. And eventually we got topped up. I think we had like nine pence left or something like that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> eventually got topped up. So for um, so then we're into the afternoon. So for lunch we had um, peck sandwiches. So it's like a ham meat comes in a tin so we had peck sandwiches for lunch and then in the afternoon it was about 2.30 uh, in the afternoon when he managed to get topped up but yeah that all got sorted and I was doing a little bit of stitching I managed a little bit um, obviously not wanting to waste electric and having lights and things on so yeah managed to get that done then uh, then 
once he'd topped up the meter, he and the boys decided to go back out. Uh, our youngest wanted to return a backpack that he got from Sparks Direct, so they went and did that. So then I think I was recording one of the magazine flip throughs or something like that. I'd, I'd recorded it anyway while they were out. Then an hour later they got back. So it was a case of sorting out, feeding the pets, getting Ted walked, and then getting tea on. So for tea it was toasties because we'd got given some high street gift vouchers that could be spent at like Argos or Wilco's or you know they sell some electrical items and so we managed to get a toasty machine with some vouchers that we got from my parents so we got a deep filled toasty machine so we tried that out we had cheese and ham toasties then in the evening it was live with Christine again so we were doing the Eddie Stick well she was doing the Eddie Stobart, I should say, and I was there to read the comments. And like I said before, I love your guys' interaction and coming supporting, and yeah, it's brilliant. Then, um, yeah, we had a bit of a chat after, and then, yeah, I headed straight to bed. Then... Wednesday the 29th, so got up like normal, fed the pets, washed up, sorted all that jazz out. Then for lunch we had egg mayonnaise sandwiches. Then in the afternoon I had a bath, Wednesday, yeah, bath. Then after my bath I finished Peppermint Purple 2021. So, yeah, as you guys saw before, I finished this year's Peppermint Purple and it was Wednesday the 29th was the last drop. So I stitched that in the afternoon and then that was finished. So then for tea, we had some bits and bobs that were left. There were some sausage rolls left, uh, some Pringles and crisps and then we had some like uh, Chinese style ribs so I cooked those for tea and we had kind of a bit of a snacky bits kind of tea then in the evening I was working on the Christmas mouse while watching YouTube and I think there was some live streams on uh, but then after uh, after I'd turned all the computer off and settled down into bed I wanted to try out my new markers the markers that I got gifted from our eldest the alcohol markers the set they came in the case so yeah I absolutely love them you just have to make a line and it just it with the alcohol markers it's like spreads so you don't have to get right up to the edge uh, you just see how far the ink spreads and yeah it just fills an area it's brilliant I love those alcohol markers they're um, they're a lot smoother than the normal markers because sometimes you can see like lines and streaks where you've covered with alcohol markers you don't get that as I've learned so yeah then on to Thursday usual get up feed and sort the pets do the washing up then again for lunch it was egg mayo uh, then in the afternoon we were going out we were going to see Mark's uh, mum and stepdad and going to spend some time with them and that side of the family we actually went to see a pantomime a Christmas panto 
it was Sleeping Beauty. So, yeah, I will show you guys the flyer, the poster thing. Uh, that one. So, it had Billy P.S. and Dr. Range. And yeah, it was Sleeping Beauty. And it was so funny. Billy P.S. is hilarious. He's so, so funny. Um, there were one bit of it. They were singing the 12 Days of Christmas. And all the characters were lifting up different things. And there were about three of them. So as they were doing the first three and then getting into the second three, they had to do and then they were running back and forth to the stage. And yeah, the 12 days of Christmas. So they were each picking up three different things as they were singing the songs and they were absolutely out of breath by the time they'd done. But it was so good. It was really, really good. Then after the pantomime, we went back to Mark's mum's and stepdads and we have food we normally order pizza uh domino's normally do a really good deal you know you order so many you get so much off or you know so many free or whatever but um yeah apparently they didn't have any of the deals on with it being sort of in between christmas and new year they don't have any deals on so they said when we got there so um we just opted for a takeaway shop very close to their house um they said they did nice pizzas um they were handing a menu round but there was other excuse me i got hiccups there were other things on the menu with it just being a general takeaway as well. So a couple of us ordered burgers. I had a half pound cheeseburger and chips. So then everybody was tucking into food and then after food, sort of while we were all sat, um, we got into the quiz. We do a family quiz so we all split into teams into family teams and yeah we have a list we all do sort of five questions so i think there were five or six teams um so yeah that's that's a really fun thing to do we um like i said we have five questions one's got to be a kids question one's got to be a sports question and the other three can be any kind of question you want as long as there's a sport thing in there because mark's side of the family his stepdad's side they're all into sport football yeah the, the football mad so we have a sports question and then there's some little ones uh you know four or five years old little is so we have a kids question so they can participate um i think the question that we had this time was who loves jumping in muddy puddles and yeah the kids all shouted out Peppa Pig. it was really funny it was really really funny they all answered the question together i think there were two or three uh that are about four or five years old and yeah they all shout out to him big. <laughs> so we, we yeah that was really fun um but then um we're all sort of sat around having a drink having a chat and then some people started to go so we said well we've got you know quite a bit of a journey back it's about half an hour 40 minutes for us to get back home so we said, yeah, we're, we were going to head out. This was just after 10. I think maybe quarter past, 20 past 10, something like that. And yeah, we just took a nice steady drive home, you know, after having food and just relaxing. And so we just took a nice steady drive home. Uh, we got home here about 11 so about 11 o'clock so we got in we got settled 
you know, I made sure that uh, Mark had everything he needed. Um, and then I came up to bed. I was absolutely exhausted. Um, yeah. So I got into bed, more or less fell asleep. Um, didn't even feel Ted come to bed. Um, I think our youngest brought Ted in. I think he said about 20 past half past 11. And I didn't even hear him. I must have been out for the count. So... But yeah, it was an absolutely brilliant panto, uh, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, not Beauty and the Beast, Sleeping Beauty is what I meant. <laughs> so then we're on to Friday the 31st. So the usual pets, wash up. Uh, then for lunch, I didn't actually write what I had for lunch. Um, but then in the afternoon, I was working on the Christmas mouse, sorting out a little bit of washing. Um, then for tea, uh, I just had some chicken. I found some chicken in the freezer and yeah, I just uh, wanted roasted chicken. That's what I had for tea. Then in the evening, I was working on the cola truck. Oh, this is um, Christmas Eve, the 31st. So, yeah, I was working on the Coca-Cola truck, watching a little bit of YouTube. Um, and then about quarter to midnight, I went downstairs. You know, the boys joined us. Mark came down. We poured us all a drink and then we got on to the New Year countdown, the fireworks and yeah, we have a thing on the TV. Um, so we all had a drink of Baileys to um, to cheers, you know, to celebrate the New Year and yeah so we did that we watched some fireworks on the tv and then i don't know there was some dancing or something or yeah we were just watching that and then i think it was about half past maybe half past 12 quarter to one something like that i came up here and yeah i zonked out in bed so then we are on to the 1st of January. So Saturday the 1st, uh, with it being a Saturday, um, it's usual cleaning. But with it also being the 1st of January, we take the decorations down. So we've got all the little bits off the shelf and, you know, little decorations, card, tinsel from the fireplace. Uh, so we did all that, got all that boxed up and then the last thing we had to do was take the tree down. So we took all the baubles and decorations. Um, it's a fibre optic tree that we have so we don't have to mess with lights or anything like that. So we put all the baubles and things like that, we boxed it all up, put it all away. And then we just had to unplug the tree and take the base and the legs and, you know, everything like that off. So, yeah, we packed all that up, stacked all the boxes and then we started the cleaning. So we blitzed the living room, uh, dusted everywhere, swept and then we needed to back up as well, you know, get behind tables behind the sofa you know sort all that out and yeah we blitz the house top to bottom and yeah i did my usual uh bathroom i cleaned the bathroom like usual um then for lunch i decided to have some Christmas cake and cranberry cheese. I decided I just wanted that for my lunch. 
So some Christmas cake and cheese. I actually put the two together. I, sli I put the slices of cheese on top of the slice, oh, well, one side of the slice of Christmas cake and it's delicious. It only seems to be Christmas time when they do the cranberry cheese, but I love it. So that's what I had for lunch. And then in the afternoon is when we blitz the house. I did the bathroom. And then once that all that had been done, I actually sat and stitched. So the 1st of January was when I started pole to pole. So yeah, I managed to get a few stitches in that before I had to start tea. We had steak pie and chips. Then in the evening, I was stitching again when I came up here. I started the Stitch on a Christmas stitch along. So yeah, I started that uh, last night while I was watching YouTube. So yeah, I got quite a bit of that done. Um, and then once I switched the computer off, I just sat on the bed and then that's when I watched Robin. Uh, Robin loves books. And yeah, that was her first floss tube. And I really did enjoy it. So thank you, Robin. Then today is Sunday, the 2nd of January. So got up today, did the usual pets, the washing up. Then I started ironing. Once I'd finished ironing, I had a bath. So yeah, I had a bath and then I got on setting up Sunday dinner. And then, yeah, so I got uh, Sunday dinner on. We had, what did we have? Uh, pork joint and some cabbage and carrots. So, yeah, I think that is pretty much everything. So, what I need to do now is get this video edited and uploaded for you guys to see. I will check my phone and find out who tried to ring me. So, I am going to let you guys go. And remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Bye guys.